Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And what we have to look forward to is live coverage from the Segunda División. What a game this ought to be, Lee. Thanks, Derek. I'm sure both coaches will want their players to start with a real zip in their play. Really show the opposition what they're in for. That could lead to fireworks. Let's hope so. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, three goals in his last three games, Derek. Breeds confidence in the player. Defenders will be watching him like a hawk. This is how it looks for the home side. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. This is how the visitors will set up today. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And so the battle commences. La Rea. Just tell us, Lee, what you think the plan should be from the point of view of the visitors. Well, I think the visitors will get everybody behind the ball and try and spring attacks from that position. And if you've got the right type of players to soak up that pressure, then why not adopt that tactic? Makes complete sense to me. Javi Munoz. Cristo Gonzalez. Well, high marks for that pass. Fruitful looking attack. Sends it back. Has a go. Oh, a goal! There it is. And the crowd stunned into silence. Well, as we can see again here, he knows exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. And still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. The opening goal of the game then. Nos informan desde objetos perdidos de que les acaba de llegar una gorra verde y amarilla. Repetimos, una gorra verde y amarilla. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Yuri. And the decision is one of offside here. Pablo Trigueros.
And can they make one of these passes count? A real opening now. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. So, 2-0 now. He's in control of the situation. Balcarce. Paris Adot. For attacking possibilities. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Using his physical strength to shield it. Pablo Larea. What can he do from here? Oh, denied by the post. The hosts have really controlled possession, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. Looks promising, this. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Pablo Larea. Beautifully weighted ball. A really top notch piece of defending. He's protecting it well. Not a huge chunk of added time, one minute. Well, the fans are not happy, and who would blame them? Shocking performance so far. Let their standards slip, I'm afraid. All parts of their game are off today. The first half here comes to an end. Well, such as the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days not at all, Lee. Yeah, really hasn't been able to carve out any opportunities today. Certainly hasn't tested the keeper much. We expect more from him, but you can see why they're struggling today. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Pablo Trigueros. Javi Munoz. And winning it back. And scope for them to produce something exciting. La Rea. Moving the ball effectively. Eric Moran. And it was a very good looking move, but alas, no end product. Victor Gomez. And he read it well. It is a decent looking attack here. It's opening up for them. Gomez. Pablo Trigueros. And the keeper with the ball. Trigueros. 
And he read it superbly. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. It's a corner. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Corner kick played in. Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. And the referee has given them a corner. And firing it into the area. Just too much height on that one. Close shave, though. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. The visitors have had total control of possession and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Here it is now, a substitution. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. No space for them here. Big chance! And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight! Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the app, surely they now have been removed. Eric Moran. Patient build-up at the moment. Pablo Larea. Well, he successfully got past him. And there it is, a goal, but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways it doesn't do it justice how patient they were in the build-up, but then there's still plenty to do. You have to say it's a really nice finish just to guide it into the net. Lovely goal.
and it's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Javi Munoz. Message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. And there goes the final whistle. Not the result the fans were hoping for, Lee. Yeah, they really struggled to get to grips with this game, to be honest. Starts in midfield for me, always seems second to the ball, and then too many mistakes at the back has cost them. Poor performance overall. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today, played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.